Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost 1.0. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we now pick up right where we left off. All targets must die! Damn it! Ah, oh, stupid acid. Damn it! I always, they always get me with that one when I'm not looking. No. Oh. Okay. Oops. Knock it out. My B. No. Never ends. Yes, yes, walk this way. Keep going. Oh, good. Actually, probably the best one yet. Man, that scrapyard is going to have a lot of work over the next few days. Watch the game end with Nakamura shooting the station out of the sky so I don't have to deal with any of this nonsense anymore. No, uh. It's been reprinted like ten times now. I feel so bad for him. This shit isn't his job to put up with. Damn it! I've lost so much progress this far. Thank you. 
fucking... Fucking everything, man. This is nonsense. This is madness. Sorry, Wally. That was you. Death to that guy. Oh, shit. I suddenly realized one of those really big dudes is right beside me. Oh, the stupid plants. God, it was the plants in the floating things. You can do it, Jacker! Finish him! How are the bullets? How are the bullets? It's done! Ghost, your brain is safe! <sighs> and now I turn the timer back on. I should see how long that segment was, shouldn't I? Okay, forget the timer. Uh, if you're seeing this, it means this is going to be the end game, so... You know that before I do. Brain serial number changed unupdated. Initializing storing routine. Thank you. What the hell is happening? What's the meaning of this? Track that damn brain! Track it! Track it! Goodbye, murderer! I don't want to see your putrid face ever again! Thanks, Jacker. You saved my life. You're welcome. We're even now. Ghost, that's fantastic! You're alive! Yeah. I can hardly believe it. Congratulations, man. You did it. Jesus, my hands are still shaking. What are you doing now? I'm sending something to free robots that'll be a massive headache for Nakamura. Videos of the brains? That's going to spark some serious problems. Done. You were right, Bugen. She wasn't an algorithm, but a real human brain. <laughs> yeah, she's a very interesting person. Jesus, it must be shocking to find out that you're just a brain connected to a machine. But she's a person, after all. At least she's not something synthetic made by mankind. Do you think she suspected she was an algorithm? Nah, I'm not sure. Let's ask her. Ghost, now that it's over, we have something to ask you. Ghost? Ghost, do you copy? She left. Why? Where? She almost died and also found out that she's a brain in a jar. Who knows where she could have went? A new scandal rises against the Nakamura Corporation. Free Robots reveals that Nakas are not controlled by artificial intelligence, but are actually controlled by human brains. The evidence that started everything is a video received from an anonymous source, which shows thousands of human brains somehow connected to a machine. Are Naka's human brains? Is the video a fake? More information, more news, tomorrow at the same time. Thanks for watching. You beat it. Finish the game in medium or hard difficulty. The end. Finish the game in classic mode. There was a third one. Fifty years ago, Betha Miller was on the brink of death. Medics could do nothing to save her, so as a last resort, she signed an agreement with cryogenics to preserve her brain. Her head ended up frozen and forgotten in a minus four degree Celsius warehouse. Forty years later, working in secret, a brilliant scientist in the Nakamura Corporation, Dr. Bisashi, managed to rejuvenate a frozen brain by maintaining it with a liquid full of oxygen and essential nutrients. After a few years of investigation, Dr. Misashi and his team managed to, to, to decode the neural consciousness of the brain and connect the consciousness, uh, conscience to an android called a Naka. Neural connections of the brain. 
The success of the project allowed Nakamura to purchase cryogenics at secret, becoming the new owner of millions of frozen brains, and with them, millions of future Nakas. Oh, hey, one of the drones is there. Nice. Nakamura decided to keep the Nakas docile and sell them as servants. The Nakas' memories are erased, and they are injected with a mysterious orange fluid that the Nakamura Corporation developed. She, along with 19 more Nakas, are purchased along by a mysterious trafficker known as Victor. His agents managed to alter the configuration of the orange fluid for their 20 Evas, becoming more skilled, more intelligent, and in some cases, obtaining the ability to connect and disconnect to any android at will. A few years later, Jacker and Bugan stole the disconnected Naka and transformed it into a combat robot. She, temporarily given to Jacker for an exorbitant price, broke into the Nakamura space station controlling the combat ro robot. After stopping the flow of orange fluid, that ghost's mind started to wander. She soon realized she is a cyborg and rebelled against her owner, Victor, who tried to kill her by destroying her brain. Armed with her memories under the help of Jacker, she managed to save her brain. Shocked and confused, she went to settle things with Victor. The Nakamura Corporation is investigated and Jacker submitted his recording of events to the authorities. Nakamura's leaders and managers were imprisoned and all Nakas were set free and declared human. Ghost captured Victor and turned him over to authorities. He was imprisoned and relieved of all his belongings. Nice. After dealing with Victor, Ghost only wished to go to one place. I'm guessing this is where Boogan and uh, Jacker are in the real world. Okay. We're broke, my friend. We found nothing to copy, nothing to sell. <laughs> We're geeks, man. We don't need money to be happy. Boogan, I have something to confess. It turns out that I need money to be happy. <laughs> you can hack everything we need. We need. Not I need? Of course, man. We're a team, aren't we? Technically, yes. What the hell? A team? <laughs> Come on. You're just two geeks with no money that played too many games by Kojima. Ghost! What if we call us Ghost and Geeks? Geeks and Ghosts. Ghosts and geeks. There's two of us and one of you. Come on, gentlemen. Ladies first. Sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're going, like, over half an hour at this point. Oh my god. But, uh... you guys get to get disabled again. Okay. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is running into like 8 million years long. But it seems in order to uh, get a credits video, I have to manually trigger it from the main menu. So uh, I'm going to call this here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and this has been, I guess, the last main story video of Let's Play Ghost 1.0. I'll see you next time when we roll the credits. Later. <laughs>